What's the craziest ad you've ever been served? I'm 27 and I get ads for menopause. Probably when your mom was over at your apartment, she was looking some stuff up. I'm not even being a hater. You should simply, you should ask her how she's doing. It's a reality of life, man. Nobody escapes from it. Yeah, just ask your mom about her effing menopause. Do some of you guys have a bad relationship with your mom? I feel like I'm not going to put this to the test because enough of my private life has been exposed here already. I could call up my mom and be, and be like, hey, mom, what's your experience with menopause? And she would just lay it out for me. She would tell me about the hormonal changes and the loss of bone density and stuff like that. And I would be like, wow, that sounds like it's hard. And she would say, yeah, it was an adjustment. And then we would bond over that and it would be totally fine. We could go out for like brunch together or something like that. We wouldn't have to. She wouldn't be like, oh, I can't talk to you about gross stuff, even though literally you're made of my eggs and your dad's cum. And I squeezed you out of my pussy 34 years ago. It's just, it's, it's biology, man. No, no, a stork, stop, stop. A stork brought me down. A stork in a little blue bindle. Force and post the fucking video. Doorstep. I said, post the fucking video. Okay, good. Listen, I have a very, very important announcement. Are you ready? Yeah. Wait for it. It's coming. I can feel. I'm bursting. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This is real. Oh. Is it? My dad definitely wasn't hitting it from the back with a fistful of her hair or anything like that. And he was going, where should I do it? And she was like, do it inside. And then he was like, are you sure? And they, come on, man, we're all adults here. Oh, am I grossing you out now? You guys are babies, man. It's just, it's just skin and bone and flesh and tendons and sinews and muscles and mucus, man. What do you think you're made of, bozo? It's the same shit. It's your parents. If you, if you think it's gross to imagine your parents doing it, imagine the fucked up shit your grandparents did, man. Your great grandparents, grandpa comes back from the, the first world war. What do you think they were getting down to? Somehow that's better? Yeah, I know, I, it doesn't really make sense, but you're right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it really doesn't make sense that somehow that's less, I guess because you're further away from it, but. I bet grandpa was just hidden at missionary, no big deal. Oh, so you like imagining like your grandpa and your grandma like nose to nose fucking making out while he's <laughs> Well he's bumping up against their damn cervix. That's what yeah, whispered saying was looking into each other's eyes saying I love you and stuff like that, whispering sweet nothings into each other's ears. Every once in a while he like leans down and kisses her on the neck and she moans lightly in his ear. You like imagining your grandparents getting down with that, you sick fuck? You, you disgusting pervert.